Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the third match in the last replay I have of the round of four before we move on to the finals. Vile Tomato starting at the, what is this, one o'clock location as the White Zerg at the six o'clock location. This is technically seven. Seven o'clock location. We have Nagnar starting as the Green Zerg. And both players, so this is on Sparkle. Nagnar are going to go ahead and lift that command center off initially. It looks like actually both players lifting the command center off in this instance. I have not seen Sparkle in a very long time. And it was in a it was played in a period of time where I didn't get to watch a lot of matches to be honest, but it's kind of an odd map. So you've got uh, kind of odd layer feature, random doodads, uh, interior natural expansion here behind uh, the base, and otherwise it is an air map, as you can see with the blockades, which is why the lifting off the command centers is happening, and why it's actually also very important to go ahead and sneak out and capture additional infested command centers out on the map. Because the more infested command centers you have, the more the ability you have to get into your opponent's uh, sphere of influence, I guess I'll call it, into, into their bases and wreak havoc and destruction. It looks like this overlord is going to not capture the near infested command center here. This one for Nagnar is going to capture uh, clear by. And honestly, it's little things like this, being able to capture command centers that are closer faster, that can play a big difference in getting to your opponent and being able to land that command center and being able to produce that initial infested. It's basically a race to get more infested command centers in your opponent's base uh, in the most efficient and speedy manner uh, as possible. It looks like Nagnar getting several infested command centers, but I think he's behind in the overall run because Vile Tomato, this infested command center, I think it's closer than either of the, any of these three. However, if the game goes for a bit of time, I think Nagnar is going to end up with a sizable advantage just because he's got the big supply lead already. And I think he's going to be able to continue to cap that supply lead. This command center is actually, rather than going for his opponent's base, going to try to capture this command center over here. That's opening up a command center to the right uh, to be grabbed. I think this base is ultimately going to end up getting captured by either this command center or this overlord before this overlord realizes what's happening. And uh, just kind of additional play from here. There's infested... Oh, maybe not realizing the nature of this map or maybe realizing this is going to be captured and wanting to do a quick counter-strike. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, but, well, let's see if this gets lifted up. This is it. Okay, cancellation and Vile Tomato now lifting it off, realizing, okay, wrong position and also not getting there in time. So now we got two infested, so three infested command centers heading to the 12 o'clock location, immediately teching to layer here rather than bothering with infested uh, Terrans. It looks like we see a spawning pool being dropped uh, for Nagnar as well to potentially tech up. Nagnar currently with the overall drone lead and a huge command center and supply lead as well. Uh, I should say supply and potential supply. Another command center going to get grabbed. And right now I can, I'm concerned about Vile Tomato's ability to stay alive in this match simply on, uh, simply based on uh, how many command centers are going to be floating into his main. So he didn't make a beeline with this infested uh, command center. So this infested command center is going to be at his main, I think, sooner rather than later. Maybe if he can pull some drones off, this will be the trick. If he can pull... And he might win this just by getting a Spire down and getting Mutalisks, because the trick of this is if some drones can get in the way of these infested command centers that are incoming, he can prevent them from landing, at which point he will be, he'll stave off uh, destruction, second hatchery, and a third hatchery, by the way, already uh, being planted from Nagnar underneath this. And it looks like uh, grabbing this extractor that was hidden in the midst of that. I didn't even realize there was an extractor there. But... Now, oh, this is clever. Nagnar actually dropping the infested command center is so definitely familiar with this map, dropping it on the low ground. That And Vile Tomato going to try to blockade any infested Terrans that are coming out with his own drone, but he's got two more coming in from the left, and you can just see where it's a full invasion. He's got that spire on the way, so maybe with this spire, he can turn the tide. It looks like one of those being canceled and lifted off. It's going to come to the low ground. Some Zerglings are making their way that direction. A creep colony being produced as well, and I feel like this creep colony is a waste. Zerglings... I think are instantly going to get ex just detonated on. But here's the trick. Vile Tomato has his own infested command center on the opposite side of the map. Maybe if he can land that, it looks like Nagnar going to try to produce his own infested Terran to perhaps combat it. Let's see. There's going to be an interesting race there. That Spire about three-fourths finished. The drone's pulling off the line. The Zerglings, so it looks like I missed the Sutton Colony getting splorched right there. I think splorched being the operative term. But now we've got, what is this, five infested command centers around to work for Vile Tomato, or sorry, to work for Nagnar, and Nagnar behind, or sorry, uh, ahead in the overall drone count. He's got all sorts of drones saturated across many bases, so he doesn't have to worry about an explosion at his main. One infested Terran being produced there. The Zerglings desperately trying to take care of some infested 
command center somewhere here, and this infested Terran is going to go ahead and walk, take out, well, nearly taking out the spire. Mutals being produced. Are mutals? I don't know if mutals are going to be enough to to create the difference. Now Zergling's starting to work. I think I missed an explosion there. I just caught the trail end of an explosion in Nagnar's main, losing a handful of units here and there. The Zergling's starting to flood out to deal with the command centers that are being produced. And it's almost like a game of whack-a-mole or a kind of guessing game of who, where will the drone be produced? That spire still up. Sutton Colony dropped down. That spire's now gone, but a single Mulus did manage to sneak out. There's no anti-air. Looks like this infested command center was forced to come off the ground. An evolution chamber desperately dropped. It looks like a one infested command center has been down. Uh, a spire being produced. And so it's going to be a race to get anti-air. There's only a single Mutalisk, though. And that, sorry, two Mutalisks that have been produced in the midst of this. Three Mutalisks that he managed to sneak. I take it back. But more infested uh, Terrans are sneaking out. They're going to be able to kill that. And so they're still going to be able to do damage. These Zerglings a bit confuzzled. And I don't know if they're going to be able to get a lot accomplished. The first Mutalisk trying to work on this initial Spore Colony. No initial Spore... Uh, sorry, second Spore Colony going at the main. So I'm not sure this is going to be all that much of a disruption to mining time. Spore Colony finishes... So that Mutal is taking some damage. The Zergling's working on, it looks like the middle Infested Terran uh, command center where that is going to produce um, an Infested Terran immediately. Let's see if it's is not even going to bother to try to provide any sort of defense against these Zerglings. Sutton Colony being built in the main. Another Infested Terran, I think that came from the right, blowing that up. Another explosion catching drones and doing some damage to the lair. It looks like the Mutalix that were engaging that Spore Colony died. And this Overlord going to get taken out as well. Everything looking in Vagnar's favor currently. He's got 15 drones versus just the six on the opposite side. Another Infested Terran walking its way in. And now it is down to a four drone count. He's still got Zerglings on the ground, but more Infested Terrans are starting to flood through. Just too large of an advantage with the numbers. A cancellation on the drone right there. A bunch of Zerglings being... Yeah, and that's GG from Foul Tomato. He had a moment where it looked like the match might swing his uh, direction with those Mutalisks, but going to uh, advance to the finals. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I don't have the replays from the opposite side of the bracket. Apologies. So we're just going to see who ends up in the finals. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.